Amen. And uh, welcome to Church of the Open Bible on this beautiful Monday evening in Holy Week as we continue our series of in-house presentations of prayer and fellowship for this beautiful Holy Week. We are going straight through until Wednesday evening and uh, we continue on Thursday not with our in-house in the evening, but with our early morning prayer meeting. All right, can we quiet our hearts? We are absolutely delighted that you would choose to be with us, both those who are in the house and those who are online with us. And we are going to be praying for those who will be joining us momentarily. They are on the way and the traffic is horrendous, but God is able. Amen, church? We are happy to see you. Shall we bow our heads for a word of prayer? And right following the prayer, we are going to invite our praise team, Sister Thompson Company, to come and lead us in a time of singing praise and worship to Almighty God. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you for your goodness and your mercies to us, your children, without which, O oh God, it would be impossible for us to traverse this dark, decaying world wherein you have asked us to trust you enough to be the salt and the light to help others to see your marvelous salvation and want to come to know you as personal Lord and Savior as well. God, as we, your people, come together to worship and to pray, pray in earnest for your help in so many different areas, we thank you for your kind invitation to come to you with our cares and not only come to you with our cares, but to cast them upon you because you care for us. So loving Lord, as we go into this beautiful evening worship, we pray, O oh God, that your name will be glorified, that your people will be edified and strengthened in our faith, and that the lost will be called to faith through our lives and through our worship. In Jesus' name we pray. And God's people say, can we stand together as our praise team comes forward to lead us in praise and worship and just put your hands together and give God a nice big hand clap of praise. It is worship time and we express our worship in whatever way the Spirit leads us. Amen, church? God bless you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 To the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. We worship you. Just lift some worship to him. He's worthy of our praise. He's the one who wakes us up this morning, clothes us in our right mind, and we are here because of who he is. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy of our praise, O oh God. Hallelujah. I am redeemed, bought with a price. Jesus has changed my whole life. If anybody asks you, just to I am tell them I am redeemed I am redeemed I am redeemed but with a price Jesus has changed my Ah! Uh -huh. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we give God some praise? He is worthy of our praise. From the rising of the sun to the going down, He is worthy of our praise. Hallelujah. 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 We worship you, Jesus. We exalt you above all else, O oh God, because you are Lord and worthy to be praised. We exalt you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Redemption cometh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Redemption cometh. Praise the Lord. What a wonderful freedom. Glory to his name.
Praise the name of God. Can we just lift our hands? What a beautiful song. The highest praise that we can give to our God. You know, I think of being in love. I know what it is to be in love. And I'm always smiling from ear to ear when I think of being in love. Are you in love with the Lord? Aren't you happy that God loves you? Amen, church? So just lift your hands and just say something nice to your God who loves you with an everlasting love, who cares about everything about you. As we invite our first scripture reading to listen to what God has to say to us in his words, we are going to have a series of scripture readings and prayer this evening talking about the times that we are in. Uh, we celebrate Holy Week and we're looking forward to what is coming up later on this week. Good Friday and into Easter Sunday. Resurrection Sunday morning. Continue to worship the Lord, man, in spirit and in truth. Amen, church? Praise God. Praise God. Good night, church. All right, just to start off our program, we are going to be inviting Sister Marion to do the first scripture reading for us, and it will be taken from John 16, verses 1 to 11. Sister, I should be followed by Sister Marlene Hines with a prayer, and then Sister Patricia Gray. Good night, everyone. St. John 16, reading from verses 1 to 11. I will read from verse 1 and to verse 10, and we all will read verse 11 together. I will be reading from the modern English version. I have spoken these things to you so that you will not fall away. They will put you out of a synagogue, yes, the time is coming that whoever kills you will think that he is offering a service to God. They will do these things to you because they have not known the Father nor me. I have told you these things so that when the time comes, you may remember that I told you about them. I did not tell you these things at the beginning because I was with you. But now I am going to him who sent me and none of you ask me, where are you going? Rather, sorrow has filled your heart because I have told you these things. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I do not go away, the counselor will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. When he comes, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment, of sin because they do not believe in me, of righteousness because I am going to my Father and you will see me no more. 11, and we will read together. And of judgment because the ruler of this world stands condemned. Here ends a portion of God's holy word. We will honor it by saying, thanks be to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, we thank God that we have this opportunity to reflect on the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, our Lord, and what it means for us personally and for the entire world. And um, I'm here to pray for the unsaved, um, marriages, and families but before I do so I just want to sing this chorus he could have called 10,000 angels to destroy the world and 
and set him free. He could have called 10,000 angels, but he died alone for you and me. Hallelujah. Lord, we just bless you tonight. We just magnify you, Lord, and give you thanks, Lord Jesus, for this gift of salvation that you have brought to us, Lord, the whole world, Lord Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, for the opportunity tonight to celebrate this gift. Lord, the way in which it came, Lord Jesus, um, what has happened throughout this time of re that we are reflecting on lord jesus as we, as we remember the things that you went through it wasn't beautiful it wasn't easy but lord you have brought so much joy to our lives oh god you have brought victory in our lives oh god your salvation lord jesus has healed so many wounded hearts oh god and given us hope the whole world has hope through you through what you went through through the suffering that you decided to go through through the suffering that dear god father you have sent your son here to go through for the people who you love the people you created and we give you thanks we give you thanks lord jesus we give you all the honor and all the praise oh god this is a time of celebration not a time of mourning oh god we give you thanks and so tonight lord we pray for the unsaved of this world the unsaved in jamaica the unsaved across the world, O oh Lord Jesus. We pray, O oh God, that they, O oh Lord, will, will also reflect, Lord Jesus. It's not just another holiday. It's a very important event in the time of history, in the life of mankind. And Lord, so, Lord, we pray. We pray, O oh God, that the church will be an impact whatever plans the church will have throughout this season it will be impactful oh god and so to the to the to the point where the unsaved have to pay attention have to pay attention and take this seriously this gift of salvation that you have given to the world oh lord we thank you we bless you and so we pray that souls will be saved during this time oh god we pray, O oh God, that during the services on Good Friday and on Sunday, O oh Lord, that we will see a number of persons. Last Sunday we saw there were a number of young persons who came to the altar. And so we pray, O oh God, that this is a sign that people will see that they need you, O oh God, and will surrender their lives to you. Lord, we pray for the, the unsaved in the, in, the la, in the families of the Christians, the members of this church, O oh God. We know, Lord, like myself, we have family members, Lord, who our hearts are aching over oh lord jesus and we long to see their lives transformed and to see them serve you and so god and so god we present them before you and i pray that all of us who are here and those who are online will just reflect on that and call the names of their family members their husbands their wives their children their extended families oh god we pray for our neighbors oh god some of them lord god who are really really a trouble to us so lord we will be very happy if they are saved and so lord we pray for the salvation of those in our communities those at our workplaces oh god and we pray oh god that we will be a good example lord jesus our lives will be a good example so that they will want to join your army lord we pray for the marriages we pray lord jesus for marriages on a whole, oh God, that it will not be 
as something that is extinct and, and seem to be old-fashioned. We pray, oh God, that people would, would want, continue to want to be married and to live lives, oh God, as man and woman that are pleasing in your eyes, decent lives that you approve of, oh God, relationships that you approve of, oh Lord Jesus. We pray, oh God, for also those Christians who are married and their spouses are unsaved. Lord, we pray. We pray for their children, oh God, their extended family, oh Lord. And we pray, oh God, that the spouse who is a Christian will make sure that they take their marriage, Lord Jesus, and their family also, Lord, as their mission field, oh God, and make sure that they minister to the spiritual needs of their husbands and wives and children, oh God, an extended family, oh Lord, before they even consider going outside, oh Lord Jesus. We just give you all the honor and all the praise, oh God. We thank you and we rejoice, oh Lord Jesus, despite of the, the, the pain that you went through, we, this is a time where that we are giving you thanks for your gift of salvation to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Good evening, everyone. Isn't it good to be in the house of the Lord one more time? Thank you. <laughs> Lord, we give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor. God, if it had not been for you, we couldn't be here tonight, Lord. We thank you for saving grace. We thank you for sending your one and only son, that through him tonight, Lord, we can talk to you, Lord. We can gather like this in this fashion to give you all the praise and all your glory, Lord. Lord, we just bow down. We worship you. Lord, I ask that you will wash, you will cleanse, and you will purify my mind, my soul, and my whole being, Lord, as I come before you on the behalf of our church this night, Lord. I am supposed to pray for the women, challenges that they are going through here and all over the world school children and teachers lord i give your praise one more time lord you are our rock of all ages lord you are the bridge over all troubled waters you are the lion of judah you break every chain and you give us lord the victory again and again and again lord we give you praise we give you glory we give you honor and we thank you that had about in this time or this season, Lord, you send your one and only son to be crucified, Lord, and that through him, through that sacrifice, Lord, we can be here tonight. What a wonderful, wonderful thing it is to, to, to be in your presence. Lord, I come to you on behalf of your woman. Lord, the woman of this nation. Lord, the woman of Zion. Lord, the women, mothers, wives, sisters, Lord, grandmothers, Lord, women, and a whole Lord, we have a heavy load. We have a heavy load to carry. And Lord, we thank you for salvation. And we thank you that we know you, that you can help us along the way. And even when we fall, Lord, you are there helping us, helping us hope again. It's a same time fall, same time rise. And God, you give us that strength. You give us that, that victory. You give us that no, that no heart. You, you, you just girt us, Lord, with your love and your forgiveness. And Lord, as we go to Zion, Lord, we pray, Lord Jesus, that we'll have a, a forgiving heart. Because if we don't, Lord, there is, there, we can have love. Lord, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. Lord, we thank you for women. Lord, if it had not, when you make Adam's out, they say he was lonely, and you, say, you, you, you decide that it was good for him to have a woman beside him. 
a woman beside him. You could put it on the head or the foot, Lord, or anywhere to put beside, Lord, because we are supposed to carry each other along the way, Lord Jesus. We are supposed to lift up each other, Father God. Lord, we ask you to go in the homes, Lord. We ask you, Lord Jesus, to just strengthen those women, Lord. Even those now, Lord, that is in our mourning, Lord Jesus. Those that have um, husbands that are sick, Lord Jesus. Those that have sons that are giving trouble, Lord. Those that have the daughters, Lord Jesus. Children and a whole, Lord Jesus. We pray for the strength. We pray, Lord Jesus, that each and every woman would know the salvation of you, God, who just turn to you because, Lord, if we really and truly give our all to you, Lord, you just carry us along so easy. But, Lord, we are so stubborn. Help us, Lord, to, 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 to lean from our stubborn way and cleave unto you, God. God, you are so great to us. You are so wonderful to us. Every day you give us new mercies, Lord. And help us, Lord, on that day, as women, Lord, when we hear that trumpet, Lord, we, we, we will not be fluttered. We will not be weary because we know where we are going. We know where we are going. We know where you have, you have a place prepared for us. Jesus, take control of each and every woman, Lord, woman, Lord Jesus. We give you all the praise, God. We put the children in your hands, Lord. The school children who are now on holiday, Lord. We pray, Lord Jesus, that as they are at home, Lord, you will have them, the Sokara angels to hand camp round about them, to watch over them, to, to look out for them, Lord, and keep away the evil ones, Lord Jesus. We brought back the forces of darkness from them, Lord. We shall back you, Lord Jesus, to be in their midst, minutely and holy, Lord. We pray, Lord Jesus, your salvation upon them, Lord. And we pray, Lord Jesus, that even us mothers, that when we are going out, we might find the right person to give a high and watch over our children, because we are not of our own Lord. We can't do it on our own Lord. You, 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 you make that, um, that provision Lord that we can help each other Lord. We can love each other Lord. Love is a wide, 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 wide thing Jesus. And we just, we just oh God help us Lord to see things as you have shown us as you have outlined to us Lord Jesus. As you have always told us, Lord, because, Lord, sometimes we are so proud, Jesus. We put the school teachers before you, Lord, because, Lord, some of us parents, Lord, we don't set any, any um, example at home, and the children create havoc, and just like how they behave at home, they go out and they give the teachers trouble. Lord, we ask you to prepare that teacher, Lord, those teachers, Lord, to have that extra love, that um, extra way to know how to get around them. Because some of them, Lord, really and truly, all they need is a little love, a little attention, a little know-how, Lord, to, to, to just be there for them, Jesus. Lord, take control, take control, sweet Jesus. Lord, as we continue to look to you, because sometimes the burdens are so heavy, Jesus, of mercy. We don't know where to go, we don't know what to do. And sometimes we come to you, Lord, and you say, leave it there, and we pray, and we leave, and we, when we get up, we get up back and gone. We God help us to realize that we are your children, and what you say you will do, you will always do. Take full control now, Lord. Whatever I feel of asking, Lord Jesus, fail not of granting it. As we continue to look to you, and to show love, and to give love, and to just embrace you, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. 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 Let's stand and lift Jesus higher tonight. He is worthy to be lifted up tonight. Hallelujah. Lift Jesus higher. Lift Jesus higher. Hallelujah. Higher. From this earth to eternity. He said it
Shall we praise the Lord? Amen. Shall we praise the Lord? Amen. Let me hear you praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. The scripture reading will be, will be taken from St. John chapter 16, reading from verses 12 to 22. I'll be reading from the New Living trans Translation. Oh, there is so much more I want to tell you, but you can't bear it now. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not be presenting his own ideas. He will be telling you what he has heard. He will tell you about the future. He will bring me glory by revealing to you whatever he receives from me. All that the Father has is mine. This is what I mean when I say that the Spirit will reveal to you whatever he receives from me. In just a little while, I will be gone, and you won't see me anymore. Then just a little while after that, you will see me again. The disciples asked each other, what does he mean when he says, you won't see me, and then you will see me? And what does he mean when he says, I'm going to the Father? And what does he mean by a little while? We don't understand. Jesus realized they wanted to ask him, so he said, are you asking yourselves what I meant? I said, in just a little while, I will be gone, and you won't see me anymore. Then just a little while after that, you will see me again. Truly, you will weep and mourn over what is going to happen to me, but the world will rejoice. You will grieve, but your grief will suddenly turn to wonderful joy when you see me again. It will be like a woman experiencing the pains of labor. When her child is born, her anguish gives place to joy because she has brought a new person into the world. 22 and last, you have sorrow now, but I will see you again. Then you will rejoice, and no one can rob you of that joy. This is a, the, the, uh, this is a portion of God's word. We honor it by saying, thanks be to God. You may be seated as we go into another session of prayer, and we're inviting our beloved sister Sims to lead us. Father, we give you worship. We honor you, Lord. We magnify you. We exalt you. Lord, we lift up your name on high because you alone are worthy, Lord, to be praised. You are great and you are mighty, and there is none like you, Lord, in all the hurt. And so, Lord, we just want to give you thanks for who you are. Lord God Almighty, thank you, God Almighty, for you are God, and you alone are worthy to be praised. And Lord, as we come tonight, Lord, we bow down before you, Lord. We repent of every sin that we have committed. Lord, known and unknown in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you that you wash us in your blood. Cleanse us, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, make us all tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, we want to thank you, O oh God Almighty, that you are working, mighty God, in our hearts, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And tonight, Lord, we say that in our hearts we are undivided because, Lord, we are worshiping one Savior and one Lord. And in our hearts we are undivided. We are bound by the Spirit of God forevermore in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your Holy Spirit tonight. Oh, God, that will lead us, Lord, and guide us into all truth in the name of Jesus. Help us, oh, God Almighty, that we will be committed, mighty God, to serve you in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, as we commit ourselves to you, Help us, Lord God, that we will de develop, mighty God, this relationship, mighty God, with you in the name of Jesus. So that, Lord God, whatever, mighty God, it is, we will come to you, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. 
knowing that you are able, God, to work things out in every area. Mighty God of the church, mighty God, every area of our lives, every area, mighty God, of our family, in the name of Jesus, because we put our trust in you. And Lord, we are, we are like Mount Zion in the earth that cannot be removed, but abide and remain it forever. Lord, we pray concerning evangelism. Oh, God Almighty, we thank you, God, that you will give us, mighty God, hearts, mighty God, and passion for souls. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that we will go out on the highway and the byway, Lord, and we will, mighty God, speak, mighty God, to sinners in the name of Jesus. Help us, oh God, that our lives, mighty God, will, mighty God, speak of you, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we minister, mighty God, to the unsaved, we thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit, mighty God, that will do the work in them, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we give you thanks and we give you praise for today. We thank you for tonight's meeting. Lord, we want to thank you for this church which you have caused us to be a part of. We thank you, mighty God, for your anointing that breaks and destroys the yokes. We give you all the honor. We give you the glory. And we thank you for all that you are going to do in this service tonight. Lord, you will be glorified. You will be exalted. You will be lifted up. And we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 God is good all the time. God is good. I am here to pray for our elderly, the vulnerable, families, and relationship. We need to really pray for those four sections because, trust me, it is really a hard time. And when it comes to the vulnerable, we need to pray them up because they are at the risk of danger and they are also at the risk of the danger enemy to come at them they are the weaker ones so we are going to pray stand for me please mighty God as we come before your presence tonight God we can't do nothing of ourselves but we come to a God who is the all knowing God a God who sit high and look low the God who hears are not deaf the God who never tired of hearing from us Mighty God, neither your hands are not too short. So tonight, mighty God, I come before you. Let self be slain and more of you, mighty God. Wash me from the crown of my head to the very sole of my feet. Take out anything that is not of you, God, and make it right. Mighty God, as I pray for our elderly, God, you know them by name and nature. God, they are weak at times and cannot move. And the only thing that they can say is Jesus. Our problem word that comes from you to their heart, mighty God. God, I pray that you will re-energize them tonight. Mighty God, I pray that you will strengthen them, Jesus. God, I pray that you will provide for them. Provide for them financially, physically, emotionally, spiritually mighty God help us to pray up their strength mighty God because at this time God they are like babes to you God so we need to pray up their strength mighty God and to visit them Jesus and to show them love let them know that someone cares mighty God because that's what you call us to do Jesus some of them live alone mighty God I pray that you will be their comforter that you will be their provider that you will be their protector mighty God and be with them for those that are sick I pray for health I pray for healing for them Jesus because God there's no good gifts that you will withhold from your people mighty God I pray for the vulnerable mighty God you know each and every one especially the young ones mighty God God I pray that you will cover them in their going out I pray that you will cover them in their coming in 
mighty God, in the world out there, mighty God, in the workplace, in the wider society, God, I pray that you will send angels to take charge round and about, to cover them under your blood, to wrap them up in your love, Jesus, that when the enemy come up against them, he will see that they are covered and they are protected by the blood of Jesus. Mighty God, no plan of the enemy shall come nigh them. Mighty God, and any trap that him set up, God, I render it powerless. I shoot it down in the name of Jesus. Hey, mighty God. God, I pray for families. Mighty God, you know about families. Families, mighty God, is so wide. Mother, father, uncle, auntie, brothers, sisters, nieces, nephew, grandmother, grandfather, and children. Mighty God, I pray that you cover family right now. Cover them under your blood, Jesus. God, I pray for unity. Unity is strength, and strength is power. And you said the family who prays together stays together, mighty God. So God, I pray that you will need family together with cards that cannot be broken. So much family is breaking down right now, mighty God. Tearing apart, mighty God, because the lack of love, the lack of unity, the lack of peace, mighty God, and the lack of you, Jesus. So God, I pray that you will stand in the midst right now of family, God, and knit them together, mighty God. Provide for them, Jesus. Bring them to that place where they can know that you are God and you are in charge. You run things, mighty God. It's not about them, but it's about you, Jesus. Mighty God, I pray for relationship. Marriage is mighty God. God, sometimes it's so heart-rending when you see marriages go apart. Because God, you say what you have bound and hurt is bound in heaven. Let no man put a son down. Mighty God, I pray for unity right now. I pray that you will knit marriages together. God, I pray for that love, that love and that peace that pass it, all understanding. Mighty God, it is no secret what you can do. What you have done for others, you will do it for them, Jesus. And mighty God, because we are not faithful. Mighty God, teach us to be faithful. Teach us to be humble. Teach us to be patient. Mighty God, because you alone, mighty God is God. Mighty God, you are the possible God for the things that seem impossible. Mighty God, I pray tonight. Mighty God, that when these prayers go up, mighty God, it will not fall on stony ground, Jesus. But you will hear God and you will answer prayer. Mighty God, I pray for each and every one of us that is here tonight. God, I pray also for the speaker. Mighty God, that you will speak through him. Speak for him. Mighty God, and let him don't dilute it nor cut it. But give it as how you give it to him, mighty God. And that soul will re-energize. Soul will encourage. And we will continue to trust you and to depend upon you, Jesus. And to lean on you. Whatever I feel of asking. God I pray that you will grant it unto us. I give you glory. I give you honor. I give you all the praise. In Jesus name. Amen and amen. Can somebody just release a praise in the atmosphere. Come on man. Give God a praise. Give him a praise. Give him a praise. God is good. God is awesome. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Come on, church. Come on, church. I feel somebody deliverance. I feel somebody's breakthrough. is tied up in their worship. Come on, church. There is something about worship. There is something about worship.
presence of the Lord. Sister Pat, can um, Sister Pat and about to yeah, just help out ushers because we want to collect the offering as 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 quickly as as, as possible. So uh, as you know, this is our second night of um, our Holy Week um, meetings under the theme broken. What is the theme, church? Broken but not destroyed. Jesus Christ, he suffered for you and I. He was broken, yes, but he could not be destroyed. He is the self-existing God. We too sometimes are broken, but we have the Spirit of God on the inside of us. So we cannot be destroyed. So whatever it is you are going through, just hold on to God and wait. Your miracle will come as well. So um, tomorrow meetings continue tomorrow face to face at the same time, 7 p.m. So we are inviting persons to come out Wednesday night. is the same thing. We are inviting persons to come out Wednesday night. is the last night that we will be in the sanctuary. Uh, we meet online tomorrow morning as well for prayer. Um, remember, Friday coming is Good Friday. And we only have one service starts at 8 in the morning. And you remember the promise where Pastor made? You remember the bun and cheese promise? That everyone will get bun and cheese. So you see, if we reach one point, and bun and cheese are run out. Bun and cheese have to multiply. Because our pastor speak a word. Say everybody. And me I go join with him. Say everybody. That comes sister Dana. I go get bun and cheese. Amen. All right. And also remember um, Sunday is um, Easter Sunday. And um, we will have our regular two services on Sunday. So Church of God. With these meetings, these four nights of meetings, come with an expectation. Come with an expectation to be blessed, to be delivered, to experience your miracle. God is working, but we have to lift our faith unto Almighty God. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Father, as we, as, are we still collecting? So without faith, it is impossible to please God. And let us believe, God, I don't know what you are going through um, throughout this month. This month may be a rough month, a terrible month. But can we just speak something, you know, over our lives that going into next month, you know, things will be different. You know, things that you were believing God for that you never received this month. Stepping into next month, you are going to see a change. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we just pray your blessings upon the offering that we have collected. I would just pray, God, that even now, doors are being opened in the lives of your people as they give into your kingdom for the announcement. In Jesus' name, amen. While our praise team is on the way to lead us in praise and worship songs, I just want to remind us, right following the Easter celebrations, we will be having two Thanksgiving services. Remember our sister Pusey, Gloria Pusey, her son passed. So that one will be next week, Wednesday. So be in much prayer for her family. And one of our shut-ins, Golden Gemmas, has gone on to glory before us, Sister Imarine Miller. Used to live at Carawina Drive. And um, remember her family in prayers. Amen, church? So we'll be having those two next week. And we are trusting the Lord for the salvation of souls when they come to our church. Amen? God bless you. Let's stand and give God some worship. Let's give God some worship. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus.
Jesus. You are worthy of our praise, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Just have your way, God. Have your way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have your way, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised, oh God. Lord, be lifted From the rising of the sun to the going down, Lord, your name is worthy to be praised. We give you honor, Lord. We give you praise, oh God. We exalt you above all else, oh God, because there is none like you, Jesus. Have your way, mighty God. Have your way. Have your way.
can you remain standing for the reading of the next scripture, please? Next scripture is taken from John 16, verses 23 to 33. On that day, you will ask me nothing. Truly, truly, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be full. I have told you these things in Proverbs, but the time is coming when I will no longer speak to you in Proverbs, for I'll speak to you plainly about the Father. On that day, you will ask in my name. I am not saying to you that I shall ask the Father on your behalf, for the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. As I said, I am leaving the world and going to the Father. Then Jesus' disciples said, Now you are speaking clearly and without figures of speech. Now we can see that you know all things and that you do not even need to have anyone ask you questions. This makes us believe that you came from God. Do you now believe, Jesus replied, a time is coming and in fact has come when you will be scattered, each to your own home. You will leave me all alone, yet I am not alone, for my Father is with me. 33 and last. Everybody, could you read with me? 33 and last. I have told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. This is a portion of God's word. Good evening, everyone. I am here to pray for our leaders of the country, crime and violence. I am going to ask you all to help me pray for our country. Heavenly Father, we worship you, we honor you, we praise you, we lift up your name on high because you are worthy and there is no one like you. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are the mighty conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. We worship you tonight, mighty God. You are the God who sits high and looks low. You operate in the affairs of men. So this evening, mighty God, I bring to you, mighty God, our leaders of Jamaica. Mighty God, you know them, mighty God, and you know where they are. You know what type of work they are doing, mighty God. But we bring before you, mighty God, our religious leaders, Lord. And we pray, almighty oh, God, that you will cover them under your blood. You will protect them from harm and danger, mighty God. Cover their families under your blood, mighty God. Lead and direct their path, almighty oh, God, as they do your work. In Jesus' name, we pray, almighty oh, God, for our secular leaders, Lord. We pray that you will give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to do the work that you want them to do, Almighty God. Help them to surrender to your will and to your way. Help them, Mighty God, to be leaders that you want them to be, to lead in the capacity that they have, Mighty God. And Mighty God, as we bring before you the leaders, we bring before you the leaders who are perpetrating the crime and violence, Lord. We bring before you the dons, mighty God, the, the criminal elements, mighty God. We bring them before you, mighty God. And as we celebrate, mighty God, your death, resurrection, mighty God, and what you did, mighty God, when your word said that you went into the temple, mighty God, and you overturned, mighty God, those tables that there was in, I pray, oh, mighty God, that you will visit all the leaders, mighty God, who are perpetrating crime and violence, and turn over their tables 
is mighty God. We pray, almighty God, that you will touch this camera is mighty God. Turn over their tables to Lord and set a fire, a Holy Ghost fire upon them, mighty God. Open their hearts and their mind to see that you are mighty God, only wise God, and you are in control of Jamaica and the people that you've made. You love them, mighty God. And those that they are scamming, mighty God, you love them too. So we give you thanks, mighty God. We give you praise. We pray, mighty God, that you stretch your arms, mighty God, of protection in the, the country, mighty God. Touch, mighty God. Sorry, touch Middlesex, mighty God. We pray, almighty God, that you will put your hand in St. James, Montego Bay, mighty God, especially mighty God. We pray, almighty God, that you will touch those in St. Elizabeth, Westmoreland, Hanover. You see what is going on down there, mighty God. Touch your leaders in the homes to mighty God. Teach them, mighty God, your way that you want them to lead your children, mighty God, because many of these children are being led into crime and violence, Lord. We pray, almighty God, for the children in the schools, mighty God, who are perpetrating crime and violence. We pray for your protection for them, mighty God. Visit them in the night, mighty God, when they are sleeping, mighty God, and show up in a mighty way. Mighty God, erase what they've done than the other person might teach them mighty God erase it from their mind and cares them to focus on you we give you thanks and praise for what you are going to do mighty God we thank you for those leaders who are doing well mighty God and we pray that you will continue to be with them we pray that you will continue to lead and direct their path and we give you thanks in Jesus' name we pray amen I'm here tonight to pray for the leaders of this great assembly and the ministries. Most righteous, wonderful, and precious, and glorious God and Father, we come, mighty God, glorifying you for who you are. For you are God, you are Lord, you are Savior, you are King, you are all in all. Father God, I glorify you tonight, mighty God, because you are the great I am. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And tonight, oh God, we just put everyone before you tonight that I'm supposed to pray for. We put our leaders, our pastors, mighty God. Oh, mighty God, we put, oh, mighty God, our elders. We put our deacons. We put our deaconess, mighty God, and the heads of the department, oh, mighty God. We place them before you tonight, my God, mighty God, because you have called them for such a time as this. And Father, God, because you have called and you will keep them, mighty God. I pray, mighty God, you continue to equip them, mighty God. I pray, mighty God, you give them a mighty God, the strength, oh, mighty God, of Jesus, mighty God. I pray, mighty God, you give them the strength, mighty God, to carry on the mandate, oh, God, that you have given unto them, mighty God. Lord Jesus, the strength of protection, mighty God, the wisdom of instruction, Mighty God, I pray, God, to God, you give them, mighty God, the healing of your blessing. And Father God, mighty God, this evening, mighty God, a word of your direction for them to go and to do the work that you have called for them to do. Mighty God, sometimes they go weary, but Lord, I pray that continue to give them strength. Mighty God, sometimes, oh God, the things are said about them, mighty God, but because you have built a hedge around them, mighty God, no weapon can form against them, mighty God. And Father God, we continue to pray that you strengthen them out, mighty God, protect them from the attack of the enemy, mighty God. We ask right now, mighty God, that whatever plan the enemy have for them tonight, mighty God, that you just cover round about them right now in the name of Jesus. That Lord God, you just encamp it round about their homes even now. So my mighty God may not be in their homes, but traveling, mighty God. But Father God, you give them mercy in journey, mighty God, and cut and clear their path right on the name of Jesus. Lord God, we pray down every stronghold of the enemy from around them now, mighty God. And we ask that your blessing be upon them, mighty God. Continue to be with them, mighty God. Continue to instruct them, to, mighty God, to the things that they are to do. Let them not murmur or complain, mighty God, but do it willingly, mighty God, because you have called them, mighty God, for such a time as this to do your work. And Father God, we are, tonight I pray your blessing upon them wherever they are, you know. For all these things and these mercies I ask, in the wonderful name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen and amen and can we clap our hands? Amen and amen. All right. So tonight, you know, let us just open our spirit to maybe a little weary 
And I can understand. Yesterday I was at the church, at church the whole day. Two services in the morning, then a memorial service, come back in the evening, preach in the evening. Could I wake this morning? My God, I slept. <laughs> so, but we give God thanks. He has rejuvenated. And you know, some of you have been out from morning. So we just pray that even now, that the Lord will just really give you the strength, you know, as um, our speaker comes to minister the word. All right, so our speaker tonight is no stranger to us. He is no other than Marlon, um, Deacon Marlon Dixon. He is married to the beautiful wife down there, Sister Karen. Sister Karen, wave your hand. Plus his two beautiful children. So him carry him amen team. So anybody now say amen. They are going to shout amen tonight. You know, he's an he's a, he's a individual that really, you know, loves the Lord. He's a businessman. You know, when I was at the, they used to come to the Wednesday morning prayer meeting regular. Long before I was promoted to where I am at now by the Lord, he was one of them who said, God said to call your pastor. And no matter what, and over the years, long before our nation appointed as youth pastor, my always called me pastor. You know, so I really give God thanks for him, somebody that I can talk to, somebody who have encouraged me. Over the years. So our speaker tonight is no other than Deacon Marlon Dixie. Give him a wonderful round of applause. But before he comes, we're just going to ask the praise team to just do one more item. And then the voice that you will hear after that is of our speaker. Hallelujah. Let's stand with me. My sin was higher than the mountain when the Lord sanctified me. Yeah. Just stand and let us sing this lively chorus. Hallelujah. 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 We can testify of that tonight. Yes. Amen. Can I have an amen. amen? We can amen. testify of that tonight. My amen. sin was higher than yes. the mountain yes. when the Lord sanctified me. Hallelujah. Amen. My sin was higher than the mountain when the Lord It was glory, glory. 
Aleluya. 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 You hear me? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If I make it sound like me a DJ here. Hallelujah. God is indeed a good God. Faithful, loving, and kind God. Hallelujah. To the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Conquering Lion of the tribe of Judah. Jeremiah chapter 18. Read a few verses. The Lord, the word which came to Jeremiah, reading from the King James Version. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my word. Amen. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheel. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again another vessel as seemed good to the potter to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me saying, O house of Israel, who could say, O house of the Lord, cannot I do with you as this potter? Say the Lord, behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are all of us. So are all of us in the hand of the Lord. God is indeed a good God. Let me follow the proceedings, the proper things to do. So let me greet Pastor Davis, Pastor. We say we call him Pastor so much time. <laughs> if people stop calling him Pastor, now we have a whole heap of Pastor for make up for that time. There. But he's, a good, he's really a good man, man. Really a good man. Pastor Orlando, God bless you, sir. I'm um, happy to extend thanks to Pastor King, even though he's not here for the opportunity because many times many times the Lord speaks and people are not here so when people hear I give God thanks for the moment God is indeed a good God I can't stop saying it because when God can take nothing and turn him into something <laughs> when God can take the piece of clay where they thought it was nothing and turn it into something. Oh, glory to God. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. I like a song there on my heart still now. I like a song is on my heart, but before... Before that one come, I'm going to sing that little song. I'm going to write it in my hand because I never want to forget it. Anybody know this? Something down inside of me Telling me to go on Something down inside of me Telling me to go on Something down inside of me
Hallelujah. Thank you, ladies. God is indeed a good God. And let me tell you something. I seek the Lord. And he heard me. And this morning, while I was fasting, God is just amazing. You know, the, when you think of your, on your own, I was in line with Elder Cruikshank Sunday. Then I said, no, you can't use the scripture. Then I listened to Pastor Orlando last night, and I said, no, 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 no. Lord, you have to give me a word for the church. Lord, you have to give me a word for the church. Went to work early because never need to stop and buy breakfast. And I just start preach to myself in my workplace because I'm alone today. So nobody not really did it. Oh my God. God gave me the, 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 the topic and I, I just feel like I said, I want me a ball. You want to see me in my... <laughs> it, It's like if if it don't minister to me, it really don't make no sense, you know? It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. Put on one show. If, it, if, if God not real to me, I can't express him to you. If, if God not, if me not feel God love, how me I going to tell you not say God love? If me not, if me not see miracles, how me I going to express to people, my people believe? And God say, There's not one broken vessel that God can mend. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When the whole world turns their backs on you, come on, personalize it. anything tonight even if the Lord don't make me say a next word remember that there is nothing too impossible but remember this most of all that there is not one broken vessel that God can't mend not one broken vessel that God can't mend let me tell you something and I want persons to listen and try to understand. One of the reasons why the church is like it is at times is because we tell too much lie. No, because we, we don't really know who we talk about, you know. So when you go out of your, out of your environment and express Christ, nobody not really know who you talk about. Because when you talk about him, it's different from when you're acting out. So the part of your light is supposed to shine. People can't see which Jesus you are talking about. Because you're not shining what you say out of your mouth. Amazing. So, as I journeyed with the most I got this morning, there I saw a little bird and somebody in our church, DP, a little bird sitting in the rain, and the rain had beat the little bird like crazy. And I said to myself, there must be more than just this. Because the, the caption said, just whisper a little word of prayer when you're going through your storm. But you see, the person who write the caption, me know another bird, right? Because if the bird did write the caption, it would be different. Because the rain starts fall and the bird starts get wet. And the bird thought it was just rain. But it never wants to stop. And then when the lightning flash, the little head where you sit down in the photo, never down when the lightning start flash. Because things get serious. And it gets so serious that if the bird did write the caption, you would hear something different. Like I almost gave up. 
Because the little bird realized so something's seriously wrong. You see, it's okay, like, when I enter the race recently at my daughter's school, can I never prove to... I never prove to them so I can't really run left them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I live so, so. It'll get better now, thanks be to God. Listen, when I run off, thank God how I stay, I make sure I pray first. I say, Father, in my heart, you know, more and win still, but <laughs> take me through the race. Take me through the race. And when I get the button, I tell you, say, you could, you, me don't hear nobody behind me. And you know the part that we reach over upon the, 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 the stretch. And we start moving. So something in my brain says you don't have a right leg, you know. And I say, but this, is, this feels funny because the left leg a pump, but the right leg a swing. And I say one thing in my mind. Me, now nah, stop the race. And the guy said, bring the button, come. And I said, you don't have to tell me if you bring the button, come. Because as long as this foot stick on from this body, yes. I carry the button go give him. Yeah. And I reach him with the button. And then I hop over and then fall down. I don't fall down from the race. When I go away from me, I fall down. This is not understand what I go on in a church. Of, church of God. What wrong if you limp in the race and finish it? Everybody are going like them to understand what is happening. So what if them shoot you with, a, with one of them spiritual guns there? Because they never hear me praying and hear me watch me and you. And he, what, he never know that what he meant for Jesus. You see what the devil meant for evil, God meant it for good. So when him go son, him him that and boop. I'm going to go along and realize that you ain't moving. I immediately when I go to me, I say, what does me I feel? Because there's some lumps that rise up. And I say, but this is serious. And then you know me, I say, but I'm not going to play no more football again. What is? Let me tell you something. Everything flashed across my mind. But, the, but I'm going to tell you this. Fast track a little bit. When I went to home, I have never felt so much pain in my life. And show me not take pain killer. You know what that means, right? Yeah. The little panadol never work and it stop. My chest feel bad and I stop taking it. Every night in my bed, I can't sleep because my foot is terrible. I'm, all my depth on is, mmm. So my time carrying a child, I best say, baby, sleep. Mmm. <laughs> but listen to this. I couldn't pray. So I did write the caption. I just said, well, and you don't pray what? I said, I just said, it pained me so bad. Every time I said, Jesus, mmm. I said, I know you're going to heal me now. I said, I no business where nobody say. I know you're going to heal me. And then me, in the morning, I couldn't, couldn't even hop because of how painful it was. So I mean, you know, the worst thing, so I, it was, a, I have to literally strap it, lift it, and drag it. But nevertheless, it's fine. Because I believe God would have healed me. I say, nobody now for telling me nothing. And sometimes Karen told me, I say, Karen, God have this. I know him have this covered. He's not ready for left me out this, left me out this or so. And I tell you, over the days, I watch how it progresses. But you know, one of the things that I love and I appreciate is I put it in a one chat where I know them want to really laugh for me. Because there are some chats where they put in them and say, mm-hmm. I'm going like here, yeah, runner, you know them. <laughs> I mean, I have no time for that part there. Eh. But the church, I'm going to put it in them, just pick it up. And here, and here the ladies, them now, we are praying for our brother. And then they start setting up some prayer. You hear me now? This is so matter, boy. This too shall pass. But here the problem with the whole away now. Every time we get beat down. You know, when I think I realize when I feel the pain, I had a choice to give up. It was so painful. And I said, no, man. It's like if I could have gone inside and search, surgery, do the surgery, would have do it. I feel like one time we do one burst, it open for us, fix it back because it was just so painful. But I learned something. You see, we had the wickedest time of your life. Bear it, man. Because something is going to happen. I have never seen a broken vessel where God came in. The way you see, look, when, you know what? I mean, I'm a maga person, you know. I have biggest leg me ever have. Like me, I feel like I said, boy, what's your? How about so? 
I couldn't believe how my foot me I look for. I said, God, I want this. And every day, when I time it, when the warfare turn on at the 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, I have to draw for the olive oil. And be after 90, I said, God, that's spiritual war, you know. Never know, say, Pastor God asked me if you come share on our topic. Come on. I wear the devil man for evil. Things say if him shoot me down, yeah. I go cry and roll over there. Him know say I'm a soldier in the army. I look on someone who's a soldier, who's not even clapping on for Jesus right now. Who don't know, know who? Is it you? Who don't know who you are? I the problem, you know. But nevertheless, thank you, sister. The Lord asked me a question this morning while him showed me the congregation in front of me. He said, Son of God, look and tell me what you see. And I said, Lord, I me, me talk with myself first. I said, Lord, I see sin in my life. He said, Look in the congregation and tell me what you see. I said, Sin are in the people them from go forward. And sometimes I know we're not holy, so we probably not believe so we have sin now in our life. But let me tell you something. David, they think everything they go to. We are drawn by the lust that we eyes them. I tell you, see them eyes, yeah? Sometimes I say, some of the time, I true people don't even know. Some of the time I walk out of the road and I tell you, say, worse than one of my good days when time, everything well put together. I see some little young girl look at my pastor. And when they compliment me, I don't tell a lie. For a second, I never remember saying, I'm a soldier in the army, you know? Because the first thing I started with me, I was like, oh my God. That's oh, how she see me. <laughs> We're drawn by my own loss. I know I'm alone, so it's fine. I know come person come tell no lie. And I'm because of Jesus Christ and Him word. Why we know there's there somewhere else and I wonder which part brother Marlon there. When David look over and see Bersheba, you think I don't understand where, where David got you? And where she was naked. So when he look over, he must have said to himself, oh, what this me I see? And me know him look one time, and me know him probably just say, no, hold on. I mean, I want up here, hold on. Where she really look good, man. Next thing you know, him, him drawn by and lost him, I say, yo, yo, brother, go call her, Bershi. Because what me see last night, I want to see this, I want to see her in front of me. And no matter how much close she is, I'm see her already. So I'm drawn by him lost, and as a result of that, the prophet Nathan came and I said, you know, there's a man with a, you know, one. I try to do it the easiest way, because he's, he's a good, but he's, he have a one lamb, and the one have enough. The one who have enough, one prepare something for some people, oh, but he take the one with the, and, and David, you know, David, him, David said, no man, man, I deserve a dead man. You are the he said, man. Yo, you are the man, you know. You see, what he said, is the same scripture when Christ says, see, when if you pick the beam out, you know, <laughs> everybody see everybody seen a nasty for them one. Every old woman see every young girl in a mini skirt and them no see for them sin. Yeah. Every old man see every boy pants a japa for them waist and no old man nasty see them sin. Yeah. You know when you get that amen. It's fine. It's fine. The point is what I love about David is that David repent of him sin. Yeah. He realizes he do something wrong. Let me tell you something. You see, anyhow, you sin against God and you can't reach a point where you feel shame and disgrace yes. and you can't broken enough. Come on. And you reach a point where you, where you sin and you can't feel like you sin and you don't feel like you do nothing wrong. Something's wrong with you. Amen. You need to check yourself. You're not, you're not at that place that you are to be. Amen. Amen. Come on. I, I know. And so many times you see the worst thing how me know what the scripture says. So many times I say, me know you're not looking right now. <laughs> I know you're not looking at me right now, still, but I still have to talk to you because without talking to you, how can I be forgiven? I said, please forgive me. You have to forgive me. So many times I take all the pillow because I don't want them near me in the house. I'm not falling the pillow because I know I sin against the greatest. You don't know. Come on. You know, I realize you see the Achilles where people are run down, the, the positions where we are run down. The, the, the possessions where we are run down. You don't think them important? Them partial. The greatest thing you can do is when God looked down from heaven and say, you see him? 
Hey, when, when the enemy shoot me, you know, you know, you know, that's true. <laughs> when the enemy shoot me, you know, you know, God, that's true. Because you say to him, say, yes, yeah, somebody, you know, you, 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 you believe that I, I, got, I got to do this to him. I said, what? God, do what? God, not do me nothing, brother. God said to him, say, have you considered my servant? I mean, no, I wouldn't say no. And God, no, I wouldn't say no either. So when God said, see, he's going to run now. Do what you want. Do with him. You can't touch his soul. Broke him up if you want. And I ask if he never tried. But the good to me, the prayer before. So we see one time him fleeing in the dark. Them, I mean, a few of them pierced me because I get probably about three or four. But you know, I'm glad for I never said nor eat. I, I survived it. You don't have to understand, man. Look back. Get, get, get in the, mm. Let me move on. The second thing is, so when I'm there work now, ball like crazy, I say, the Lord said to me, son of man, look back in the congregation, man. Tell me what you see. This apart, I make me ball bad. A shame, a shame, a shame. You know, you know, you know me see when I'm looking at the congregation? People are chewing the towel. Yeah. What a set of people love give up. No. What a set of people love give up. When you're out of the road, all man out of the road get too much gunshot and still out of the road. I, I do badness. Some of them foot worse than for me and now. They shoot off all foot. And they say, remember one time I walked through, me a little boy I walked through and community, the man they panning crutch and he have one little 38 in nine ways. Still I do badness. Yeah. And we come to taste the sweetness of Jesus Christ. And we refuse. We are talking we are chewing to will. Yeah. And as somebody said to you, say, sister, I don't like what you do, man. You make, make, make work on this now. You're, you're vexed and left church, gone on our next church. And somebody tell you the next church and you left again. Well, we can't, well, we are chewing to will for what? Why is it that we're giving up so easy? Money, I know the source of your Listen, God and the source of him give you the money. You know one of the couple of my, my a lot of favorite story. But you know why I like the woman with the Isia blood? You see the, the, the woman with the Isia blood, she knows she, she should know it in the crowd. But she here said Jesus a passed through. And the woman have to analyze that. that. Them rob me at the doctor. Rob me probably at the herbalists, probably at the spiritists, probably at the worship people. Them, them rob the woman, and the woman I say, me not hear no bad news about the man here all now, you know. And she watch the crowd and she say, you know, say, me not even, me not even want him to talk to me, you know. Me say, if only I could touch the hem of his garment. Me just suck me in my heart and tell me say, if we stay in a church one more year. The little horse for me, I kill myself for me, I go by. If I stay in a church one more year, I'll do the car pitchy patchy. One day, I just feel like I'm going to upgrade it. But we just give up on him and we never give him a chance to upgrade it. All because we, you know, we stupidly say, have a mind. We give up on a good God. And I tell you, I apologize when I tell you this because God is real. And I see miracles happening in my life, and that's why me. Oh, me forever be a soldier. Me say, before me not be a soldier no more. If you don't see me go away early, don't ask the question. Come on, come me on. go away, pan grace. Because me not turn so I mess up myself because me know what out there so is like. Yes. Some of we come to church and we just quiet so and weak. Oh, yes. We don't weak for we not, we not God people. We don't know what poor we have. You know how much time me see myself, God have used me for speaking to some people's life and, and people being transformed. From the renewal of their mind, what is wrong with us? Amen. And we get the opportunity. We look how we clothe him in our right mind and, and beautiful and in meekness and okay. gentleness. And, and we just waste come on, it. Come on, come on. So sad. We're asleep, man. Come on. Me never like calling blind Bartimus. Come on. But me know this step of my heart, I'm just going to say. Me said the man a ball out for Jesus and them out talk about. They out tapping eyes, no brother. You know, seem too busy. Busy for who? Have you ever seen a broken vessel where he came in? Have you ever seen a person where he walked past? Look for Nicodemus up in night. <sighs> yeah, when the whole of them are watching, Christ come down and say, yo, come down, man. When Christ come down, he can't believe this important man has stopped on foot. Yeah, he's probably nervous and a shake. 
Here yeah, come my house, the team nearly faint. Yeah, you know, you, when, when I'm walking, you're just watching everybody when me rob me, I'm going to give them back their money. Me tell you, everybody me rob me, I give them back their money. God never tell him to confess, but he meet up and... You know, something got a hold on me. Come on, somebody. Why is it that we, why is it that we can't see this? Why we can't press like the woman? Why we can't shout like the, like Barn oh, yes. What is wrong if you shout? You know, me not, me sorry for say this, and please, if any pastor said this, please forgive me. Me not like when a pastor preach and say, it's not just about shouting. Me know them say it's not just about shouting, but it's still me and the English thing not work. Shout! Amen. Shout! Hallelujah. God never called a dummy. Who don't feel shout, man? You know what? When I, I two people don't understand. When this adults but you come here, and when they call me person and say, read the scripture. If it was first, if it was, if this was 20 years ago, we couldn't read it. Cause the sickness for me, I couldn't see the words. And God can transform my life. And I cannot be silent before him unless he says, shut up your mouth. I have, to, I have to shout. You know what it is when they say you would never have kids and you see kids come out of your line. What is wrong? Someone want to know where I come from. I want to shame like we all know. And God forgiven on the sin. Move on and help some other people to rise up. Sad kiss. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at the situation now. Run go call Jesus and tell him, say, Lazarus sick. So, the, so then run go call Jesus and say, Lazarus sick. Jesus, at the time, them that look for him to say, you know the whole thing, them have to stay low key for a little while. Jesus said, because of the man belief, why, me, you know why I'm a tarry. But you see, Jesus leave out and late in a man. At your midnight, him late in a at midnight, you know, at the wickedest warfare, you never have warfare. You ever wake up 2 30, you can't sleep. I have ever run down on some of them out of the house after you come near picnic. I want to know them something here. I have to get up on militant and tell them, so, oh, I wonder if them. <laughs> now, watch, now, watch the size. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. What's wrong with you? I'm just grab me a little and I start march out. I want to know Christian people. So when, time, so, when, so when Jesus reached now, Mary said, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus said, if, if you did only, if you did just come a little bit earlier. I wonder if you know who was standing before Mary. The resurrection. I wonder how much dead situation we have in our life right now. And someone of you address the dead situation then, man. Especially poverty. We have worn down so much people. I wonder if you address them, man. The, the pity them are the trouble if you address them. Put them under subjection because you have the authority. If you're silent, you're, you're not, then that not show your authority. Your authority is you open your mouth and speak so it become life. So, so, so hear this now. Martha, Jesus coming now. Mr. say Martha is the smart one. Martha just run and go so boot up. Come Martha, I worship her. <laughs> Pastor said that two years a while ago. Get a worship out. Now, come on, man. That's something we're supposed to have in a way. That's something we're for real laugh, sir. So. And when Martha come, Martha does go down, so. And when Jesus see Martha cry, Jesus wept. Because he moved. He no moved just because of the crying. And because she bowed down on her feet. You see, one idea when this killed me, I'm just, and when I start talking to him, I'm just say, I can't talk to you because not as bad as before, you know. Man, I said before a word come out of my mouth, man, the tears just start flow. And show me no one carrying me about because I know she'll come on. Baby, I mean, me just come up, come up here with the, just come up here with the, with the towel and pretend like say, show me I watch the TV, me I black them out. Oh. And I say every time the water reaches, I see me, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, but me just want to spend one time with him and say, me know, you know me nah give up. I know me a fight this thing, but me I make you know, say, this a boy, you nah give up. And when Jesus got on the grave, you don't know what you want to do. How am I doing? You don't know what you want to do. I'm in there now. I'm glad you come four days. I could have had a hundred days come. And when Jesus said, roll away the stone. I am the resurrection. So all of the dead situation we have in our life, we must start writing them down on a piece of paper. And we... Hello. Don't tell Pastor Wood King. 
Don't tell Pastor King something to do so. Uno must take out on a spiritual gun and Uno must shoot them. I see any one of them going to our move. Put them down the ground and trample them. Uno must stop living a prisoner and a prisoner. Who the sun set free, therefore is free indeed. And in the house of the Lord, there is liberty. And we are free to worship. Why are we bound down so much? Why are we bound down so much? Never struggle with my son. Jonathan, sorry. Did everyone take my son from me and him say, it's mad. Blood him up. Me now nah stop telling me love him till him confused because you must know your father love you. What wrong with the, what wrong with Satan? Take away his son. Yeah. So you almost kill off me and destroy my father. You want to come destroy this? Destroy what? Yeah, man. Listen, me not a normal person. All if you know yes, I'm dead tomorrow. I feel no cry so much to me. Because if the heavens were up, no, me gone. So nobody, if God give me the opportunity, I am leaving. Me no business when nobody wants to say, yeah. I'd rather be up there with him yeah. than down here. Me no business when nobody wants to say. Yeah, I am telling you, I know what it is to live down here, the two life. Me live on the dirty side, and me never no good person. I went to a church yesterday because of my, my, my daughter's best friend. And them I talk about sexual impurity, imp whatever, whatever. And when they were talking about him, he said, everything on the bad side of me. Me said, me shame. Me said, then I will me Everything then talk about negative. That was the life I used to live. Worse when they got talk about the prostitute part. Yeah, my wife now, me no know who God tell her. I say, yeah, no. Baby, that's the past. Yeah, me no, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. When no man tell me about engineer more demonic this and that. Yeah, me no about that word this year. <laughs> I will come and say today for. But you know, my love, Jesus changed me. Yeah. Jesus changed me. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. And this is a warning for some of you. You see, if you see me look on you and tell you, I say, what's wrong with you? Now tell me about nothing wrong with you. Can I fast me a fast in your business? Me say, me ask you what's wrong with you. Say, brother, better you just pray for me. Me can me want pray for you. Straight. I mean, I'm joking, you know. You know how much time I see some people and I say, when the Lord send me to them and when you go to them and you say, morning, is everything okay? You know, every time you see me, ask me if everything okay. All right. All right. We are close. A young lady did hear something. No, no. From a comely lad, I show me you. You, sister. Me say, I'm a comely woman who didn't even smile. Me, I wonder what's wrong with this woman here. But look how a woman has smile now. Me can't pray with you. Come and pray for you. I'm not going to call her name, but I'll tell you one little quick story. You have a few sisters in other church that I like, right? Because they are, but listen, they are sisters. You know, when I listen, all kind of thing. They are sisters, and I like them because they have a way for always to motivate me. Even when there's nothing about me, they motivate me from a long time till now. One day, one of them said to me, say, a prayer meeting, say, you know, say, I have something to ask you. Pray for my sister, because my sister, sister, no feel good. And I say, make me pray right now. I'm going to pray for the sister. The sister was at home. You know what the, you know what the testimony was? I'm going to look on the sister right now just to make sure she said the right thing. She said, the same hour when you are praying for my sister, my sister said, that same hour day, the Lord release her. I'm not busy when nobody wants to say, I'm not play church. Why are you holding up your hand, sister? No, why are you holding up your hand? Why are you holding up your hand? I never tell you to hold up your hand. But me just want people to understand, say, she said, the same hour when we are praying, the Lord release our sister. She had testimony of that. Sister, when I come, man, I say, you have so much baggage and something, I wonder where you left them over there, sir? Now go back home with them. She think I joke, I make. Now go back home with them. This too shall pass. I'm going to say a prayer for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the King of kings and Lord of gods, Lord, I declare victory over this human life. Father, I declare victory over this human life. There is not one broken vessel that God can't mend. Lord, God, I declare victory. Lord, the same way the potter take up the clay and rebuild. 
rebuild, transform our Father in the name of Jesus and set this woman free. Because who the Son set free, therefore, is free indeed. And in the house of the Lord, there's liberty. Sister, me say, this two shall pass. You see the bag them where you carry, the one them where nobody knows see? Left them. Thank you very much for listening to me as I share. God is a good God and a faithful God. And if I talk too rough, please forgive me. God is good. But God really wants to change. He wants to remember the promises. I want, I want, me sorry, hold on, Pastor. There are some promises that God makes for we as Christians, you know. You know why we go back and we grave without them? Because we never want them. We're not tapping into them. We said the earth is the Lord's and the fullness of the earth. And we complain when everybody is worth in the world. Why well, we can't believe him? What is a house for, what is a house for God giving? Is sister dice? What is a house for God giving? No, seriously. What is a care for God giving? What is a wife for God giving a man and a, and a husband for God giving a woman? God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. When you hear sincerity, you don't have to have university degrees. But you see anointing, you can't mistake that. Put your hands together one more time. The Lord is good. Our brother Marla and our deacon Dixon. He testified about the goodness of God. He testified about the change that can happen when you have an encounter with Jesus. You know, brother Marlon, I must tell you that a lot of times when I look around at my brothers and sisters, and even when we're doing praise and worship, you know, nobody not smiling. Nobody don't look happy, you know. And I'm wondering, my God, is it that everybody's so distressed? They're so preoccupied with the distresses. You ought to remember one of the scripture verses. You remember the scripture that was read tonight? John 16? The very last verse. If you read that verse and ask God to help you, to understand that verse, you'll be smiling from ear to ear all the time. You know what it says? Jesus have a way, you see, to break bad news and then tell you that you must be of good cheer. You ever notice that? Sister Donna, you ever notice that? Jesus says that I have told you all of these things that in me you will have peace. In him, you know. Nowhere else in Christ. In the world, you are going to have trouble. There it is. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. And that is the peace that you can't even understand. You can't comprehend it. In this world, you will have trouble. But the King James Version says, be of good cheer. This one says, but take heart. It means don't fret. Don't worry yourself. Put a smile on your face and put your best foot forward. Because, why did he tell you that? Because he has overcome the world already. So all the trouble that this world can bring, our God has overcome through Christ. All of those things. Put your hands together for the Lord, man. Lift your hands, make a shout of joy and glory to our God. Shout a hallelujah. My God, what a wonderful time in the house of the Lord tonight. Have you enjoyed? Have you been revitalized? Have you been blessed by the singing? I want you to put your hands together for the women of word. They put this thing together tonight. <laughs> Sister Arnold and team, thank you very much, beloved. The Lord's anointing was upon every single solitary. Look here, if you leave tonight and you're not blessed, it's your fault. 
Brother Marlon, don't tell you that. I don't have to say nothing more about that. Brother Marlon said, because you don't want it. <laughs> oh, God. You see when God do things for you? And listen, folks, let me tell you something. Truth be told, it's not all of us going to have house and car and those things. But you know what all of us have? We have the grace of Almighty God. That is sufficient for every challenge, you know. And the grace of God that was affected through the suffering. You see this time of the year that we are celebrating? It is through the suffering on Calvary Cross and the death of Jesus Christ. How grace came to be, you know, for our salvation, you know. And the clincher was when he rose from the dead. Sunday morning, the third day when Christ rose again. Over, he conquered the last enemy, death. So what you have to worry about? Amen, church? Look here. The grace of God. I'm going to leave you with this. We're going to dismiss. We could go on all night, you know, until somebody drop out and dead like Paul. When Paul get carried away and I preach one night and couldn't stop because the word of God is so sweet to us. And thing is not everybody enjoys so much, you know. Some people beg so yes to this because they want to go home. But here, you know, I live further than all of you and I know X. So... <laughs> Take heart, be of good cheer. Amen, Sister Donna. Thank God for Jesus. Here and now, make I tell you something. The grace of Almighty God has in it God's love that is perfect, so it drives out fear. You don't have to be afraid of anything. Amen, church? It carries with it for our benefit not only the love of God that we experience, it also has the joy of the Lord that is our strength. That is not predicated about upon what we are experiencing. The joy of the Lord is like unconditional. You have that it's not circumstantially dependent. Amen? So, all the Christians who walk around with them face long from yesterday so, and telling people about not now go on for me. You need to think again. You are looking for the wrong things. You're looking materially and carnally. You need to look spiritually, man, and give God the glory all the time. Amen, church? And finally, brethren, you have the love, you have the joy, and you have the peace. Amen, church? The peace that surpasses all understanding. All your challenges. God already, and as Brother Marlon said, you know, I love how he did this. It's one of my philosophy that, you know, that when trouble take you, you know, is God point you out to the devil, you know? God say, have you noticed, Brother Marlon? <laughs> have you noticed my servant, Sister Daly? Praise the Lord and God for Jesus. You know, I have a practice for years now. You know what I do? At the first sign of trouble, I start to sing God's praise. Because guess what? God says, he is sovereignly in control of my life. And he, nothing, not devil, not demon, nothing can come near me unless God allow that. And if God allow it, what him say you must do? Trust him enough to tell him thanks and sing his praise. They used to send Judah when they were going to fight war, you know. You know why? Judah was the praise and worship. So you must start to sing God's praise. Amen, church? Shall we all stand together as we fix ourselves to leave this evening? A wonderful time. Put your hands together for the goodness of the Lord one more time. And we are going to close with this like a song. When I think of the goodness of Jesus... And what he has done for me, oh, my soul cries out, hallelujah, thank God for saving. All right, we're doing it one more time, and smile this time. When I think of the goodness of Jesus. And what he has done for me, oh, my soul cries out, hallelujah, thank God for saving me, hallelujah, praise God. We really want to tell you how much we appreciate the support of God's people in his house. And we want to extend to those. It would be remiss of us, while we are enjoying the upliftment and the encouragement, 
to not give an offer to somebody who may be watching us online, who may be with us in the house, who don't know Jesus as Savior. So you what? Bow your heads. I'm going to say a simple little prayer because I know we are online on YouTube. And if you're in the house and you don't know the Lord, if you want to recommit your life to the Lord, if you're one of those that is planning to give up, now is a good night to recommit your life to the Lord. Pray this little prayer after me. Dear God, I realize that, God, we all fall from your grace. But, God, we thank you for your great salvation, for your love. And, God, we are asking you for your forgiveness this evening. And, dear Lord, for those of us who are recommitting our lives to you tonight, God, we humble ourselves before you and we ask, Lord, to cleanse us, to wash us. Strengthen our faith. And God, for those of us who may not know you as Lord and personal Savior, we're asking you, O oh God, to forgive our sins. Come into our hearts and save our souls. Lord, we thank you for your mercy. You have kept us alive for this moment in time that we can make the most intelligent decision to commit and to recommit our lives to you. So we tell you thanks, O oh God, by faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Let me see. Is there a hand in the house? You just recommitted your life to the Lord. All of us can do that all the time, you know. Every single day we get up, we recommit our lives to the Lord, to the service of the King. All right, bless you, bless you, bless you. Is there one that didn't know Christ as Savior and you want to, you said a little prayer this evening, you want us to pray with you. For those who are online, I pray the blessings of Almighty God upon your life. I pray that you will find a good Bible-believing church and attend and introduce yourself to the pastor, letting him know you have committed your life to the Lord and you would be delighted to get some more assistance. But we have numbers here. You can call our church. No matter where in the world you are, we have a place for you here. If you are in the island, you can come to us. We have classes for new converts, man, that we tell you about the marvelous life when you live for the Lord. Amen, church? All when the place is going around you, you can still have a smile and sing God's praises. Amen, church? God bless you, Richard. Shall we lift our right hands as we prepare to have the benediction. The Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon us and continue to be gracious towards us. May he continue to lift up the light of his countenance upon us and give us his peace from this time forth and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray and God's people say, Amen.